it's Queen. For those that are new to my channel, hi friends, I'm Queen. I make speed build videos in The Sims. Don't forget to subscribe and do all the YouTube shebang. Sit back and enjoy. Today for our haunted house journey, we will dive into Annabelle the Creation. Uh, the movie has been made in 2017, but the actual story was in 1970. Because yes, it is based, based on a true story. A little bit of, like the movie is a little bit more. There's a little bit more spoops because it's a movie and it needs to sell. I mean, there's a 15 million budget. It needs to sell. <laughs> They produced three movies about Annabelle, and within the three of them, they made $1,000 million with them. It is crazy. So, the story is about a doll maker named Samuel Mullen, his wife Esther, and Annabelle, who had a very short life. At seven years old, she got into a car accident and never came back. Twelve years later, the Mullins opened their home to provide shelter to the sister Charlotte and six orphans little girl. The house is enormous, there is room everywhere and there is still bees rooms upstairs. Which at this moment was locked, but it doesn't stop Janice, one of the orphan who also had polio, finds a note saying, find me, and sneaks into bees bedrooms which is mag magically unlocked now. Once inside, she finds a key in the dollhouse for Bee's closet and opens it. In the closet sits a doll, a doll that had been made 12 years ago by Samuel. At this moment, she releases a very powerful demon that starts to terrify everybody. And now you ask me, hey Quinn, why is the little seven year old so pissed off? It's because it's not her. It's a demon. You follow? You have the spoops yet? Yeah, me too. Me too. I have the spoops. I always have the spoops when I watch a movie. By the way, I won't say any spoilers or anything. Not too many details. Because one, some parts are very, very gross. And two, you need to watch you, you need to watch the movie. It's a very good one. And it's worth your time. So that was a little background of the story of Annabelle. Gonna tell a little bit about my house and maybe come back once in a while for some part of the story at the same time that I'm building it. So for the house, at the when I started it, it was ginormous. I, it was a very big house and I had a lot of trouble to try to make it smaller. So that way the roof doesn't look too awkward. Cause we know in The Sims, Roofing is really hard, okay? I'm trying. So I ended up with a five bedroom house. You can technically sleep 13 sims in there if you really want to. Because there's one room that has six beds. There's one bedroom downstairs. That one was the Mullins room, which I'll show a little bit later is a little creepy. There's four bedroom upstairs and one have six beds that one was for the orphans there's one bedroom for sister charlotte there's one doll making rooms and there's a bunk bed in there and that's where janice and linda was sleeping and there's annabelle's and her creepy closet on the second floor so you can technically fit 13 sims in there it's a lot of sims i know but you can fit them if you want to, if you want to have a bunch of sims. I don't know how you would manage them. I already have a hard time to manage, like, parents. Don't start to question me when there's a kid involved. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I switched the lot. Because the lot that I was building on was the park lot. And for some reason... You know, when you look at the lot, there's a road in the front and you look at the house like a normal person. You're on the road and you look at the house. Well, you would thought that when you post your house on the gallery, that would be the angle that you would see your house, huh? Nope. You see your house from behind when you post it on the gallery. The road is in the back of the house. What the? What? Why? Why you do this when you already take ugly pictures? Why would you flip it all the way around, gallery? 
What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? It's annoying. I like that lot, but I can't build on it because the light looks gross. So here we are on this lot. I think it looks better. I didn't spend much time doing the landscaping because in the movie, there's really not much landscaping. It's like straight up in the middle of the desert. The house is built in Burbank, California. So like it's in the desert. It is hot and nothing's happening around it. But for The Sims, obviously, I need to make it a little bit more interesting because it would be very boring if it was straight up just a house on top of a hill. And it's kind of sad looking. So I added a little bit of greenery, kind of not too green here and there and uh, put some debug fences. There's a, so like in the movie, they're talking about a shed where all the possessions happening. And uh, I recreated that shed and we are gonna see it a little later, but um, I put some spoopy stuff here and there. It was, that build was really long to record because it's a big house. There's a lot of stuff going on and when you place a lot of debugs item, it just takes forever to like build your house and, and make it all comes together. Like if you just place high items here and there, it's fine. But when you start to play with debug, oh my good lord. I just tried to make it realistic, but geez, it takes forever. Oh yeah, moving on to that uh, little shack thing. I put some debugs item here and there, some pallets, and I used a lot of pack again because I feel like you need to when you start using debug, but that's my opinion. And in that shack, there is a scarecrow, which is there in the movie as well, that adds on the spoops. And even in The Sims, that scarecrow is spoopy. So in the movie, it's crazy spoopy. <laughs> and a little later, we're gonna see it on the right side of the shack there is a well that I made with like just like four little pieces and I thought it was just so realistic and it just it looks good <laughs> oh yay moving on to the inside all right so you can see how huge it is yeah in the movie the three front room so the uh, the living room that I made the office that I made and the seance room are actually all living rooms all separate living rooms it's super weird I don't understand 1970s houses when like when they are that huge and decide to do three living room I just I just don't understand why you why you need three living rooms you, you why you do this don't understand so because of the there's a paranormal pack that just came out recently I needed to put a seance room obviously I end up changing that couch and that table. Really soon we're gonna see a really quick shot of the master in the bottom and there's that wall. That creepy wall that is in the movie for those who watched it when something very terrible happened to the mother. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and that's a, that's a part of the movie. So um Moving on to the kitchen, I really thought that making that little um, hole in the wall was kind of pretty cool. Like, it was a pretty cool idea and I thought it was like extremely 70s too. And if you notice right now, in this kitchen, there is no fridge or stove. <laughs> I forgot, <laughs> completely forgot to put a stove and a fridge. <laughs> I don't know why, I was very distracted, but I came back and added one, and added the trash can too. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I always change so much stuff when I go back, like this desk, I change it for the paranormal one. I, I don't know, I, when I go back to look at my build, I always change so much stuff. I'm sorry you guys, but it looks a little bit the same, it's not quite the same, but like, it's very similar. I didn't add a computer because it didn't fit the vibe, but um, I feel like you can just buy one and put it on the desk and you'll be fine. I really like all the vampire stuff. I think it fits so well with all the mood that I'm trying to set here. And that carpet is brilliant. I want all the carpets to be that way. I want to choose the length of my carpet. That's all I want. So when we go to the upstairs, I 
At the end of my build, I realized I had a third floor and I needed a way to get on the third floor. So I ended up deleting this little cabinet thing and I put that bookshelf door and there's a ladder in there that you can go upstairs in the spoopy room. For the first time, I'm going to show you how I do my, ba my bathroom. <laughs> I really liked it. I really enjoyed how it turned out. I feel it's really classy and like... The house itself, the, the inside of the house itself is really not that spoopy. In the movie, it looks super classy, super well taken care of, and it's just, it's a good house. So I didn't want to make it like run down or anything. I really like this little storage area. I think it was pretty clever. This one is Sister Charlotte's room. Nothing really spoopy happened in there, I think. No, it's kind of a boring room. And I don't think we can s we see it really often, so I just went creative with that and tried to make it look like churchy sister vibe. And this is the orphans room where all the girls were sleeping. Almost all the girls, four of them were sleeping in there. And um, yeah, it's just a ginormous room with six beds in it. No biggie. And the two oldest didn't want Janice and Linda to sleep in there for some reason. There was enough bed for everybody, but the two oldest said, nope, go away. <laughs> so they did went away. In the next bedroom that I'm going to show is the doll making room. It's the room where Samuel was making all the dolls and for some reason he wanted to put a bunk bed in there. I, I don't know. I don't make the decision here. And I tried to make that room a little bit more run down because in the movie, it's a, it looks more creepy than this one. It's way more, there. there's dolls everywhere, there's heads of dolls, there's legs, there's arms. But we don't really have those kinds of options, so I just sized up some dolls and some doll head and put some here and there. And the choices of dolls are pretty restricted and doesn't really look like in the movie, so I I did what I could with, I, with what I had, okay? So technically in this room you can only sleep one Sims because the second bed, you, you can't use it. And I just, after that I just added some scratches and stains and um, I moved to Annabelle's room. And this is the closet, the closet where Annabelle sits for 12 years until Janice doesn't mind her business and go open that damn closet. In the movie, they say that on the wall there is pages of the Bible to try to contain the evil that is inside. And so that's what I did. I put some of the paper wallpaper for a wallpaper. That's confusing. So um, this room is kind of uh, flipped. The bed is supposed to go against the windows, but it really doesn't fit for the house, so I didn't do it. The dollhouse on top of the table is in the movie, and that's where Janice found the key for that stupid closet. And there's that little nook over there where Janice sees Annabelle, the little girl, for the first time. I used the vampire dresser and vampire bed to over here and I was pretty proud of it because usually you can't use them anywhere because it doesn't fit anywhere. And I added the chair for the staircase because that's what Janice used to go up and down the staircase because she had polio and she can't go up and down. And this is my last room and it's the spoopiest <laughs> little ritual kind of room. So I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, do all the YouTube shebang. And on that note, I'm Quinn. You're my friend. I love you guys. Bye.
20 on the shot. 